Hey guys, Maniac here with GameAccess.net. I know I promised you guys I'd be doing an unboxing of the Arkham City Collector's Edition today, but um, really, I realized just how much I've been doing for Arkham City recently, so I decided to just hold that off for another day. But there's something else I wanted to unbox. This is the Ico uh, Shadow of the Colossus Collection for the PlayStation 3. Um, I wanted to do the unboxing for this um, because... This, uh, this game actually does, uh, it's, well, it's two games in one. Uh, both Ico and Shadow of the Colossus were, um, PlayStation 2 games. Probably considered to be two of the best games for the platform. Certainly, uh, two of the most underrated games for the, well, they were underrated, or they were, actually, they were very well rated, um, very, uh, very well received by the critics and, uh, gamers who played them alike. But, um, not really super major sellers, and now that the games are out of print for the PlayStation 2, uh, people looking into wanting to check them out based upon the heavy word of mouth that these games have gotten are um, are now are, 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 were unable to because you know the game's been out of print. But um, now that they've re-released the game on the new platform, um, guys like me who didn't have the game the first time around can now play it um, and play the full game in high definition on the modern platforms on modern hardware like modern TVs. It is uh, in remastered in 1080p, as you can see right down here. It's got it is 3D compatible now, and um, you usually asking yourself, why am I unboxing this? Don't I usually unbox collector's editions? Well, I consider this a collector's edition. It retails for forty dollars US, which is a steal uh, because it includes both Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. But it, more than that, it also includes all the special features from the previous games as well as some new special features, as you can see here. A bunch of exclusive bonus content has been included. Uh, five exclusive behind-the-scenes videos featuring making of Ico Shutter Colossus and a sneak peek at the Last Guardian. That's the next. Um, that's the next game that the company is doing. That's going to be for the PlayStation 3. And um, the XMB themes uh, that are dynamic. Yes, they're motion. And um, as you can see here, the game is in 3D. It is full 1080p support. Uh, it does have better graphical fidelity. They improved the textures and stuff like that. And it does support 7.1 surround sound. It still has um, it still has all the other features um, that was already listed, and there's no installation from what this says. It only has 5.6 megabytes for saves. Um, I don't believe it uses that, but uh, I, that's why I consider this a collector's edition because it includes a lot of those documentaries that um, people have been wanting for a while. Now, I first got into playing this game. Obviously, I'd heard of both Ico and Shadow of the Colossus when they came. When, um, I didn't get a PlayStation 2 until 2004, 2005, well around the time of the end of its lifespan. And the reason why was because I wanted to play Snake Eater on it, which I, I did. I, I picked up Snake. I picked it up for Snake Eater. And um, so by that point, Ico was already had been released for a while. Shadow of the Colossus had just come out, but I think at the time it was being eclipsed by games like um, God of War. That having been said, it was a it was a you know a very highly received game. Both of them were, and uh, but unfortunately they were just n not games that were on my radar. And it wasn't until a couple months ago when I spent the weekend with a friend, and um, they actually had um, these games as well as a bunch of other like what I would consider modern classics, um, and we played them just pretty much all weekend um, on my uh, on my system. We were playing games like, uh, obviously we played Ico, we played Shadow of the Colossus, Silent Hill 2, I got to play that. Um, very grateful about that. And we got to play um, that game Eternal Darkness. And um, for me, they, they got a chance to play some of the newer games like Alan Wake and stuff like that. So it was a pretty fun, and of, uh, God of War 3. So it was a really, really fun weekend. It was one of my favorite weekends I ever got to spend with somebody. And um, it was a good time, so... Based upon their record, their heavy recommendation of these games and my own experiences playing it with them, um, I had to pick this game up. So it's unboxed. Let's take a look at what's inside. Now I heard there was a second disc that came with this. I don't know if the second disc is included. Um, no, there doesn't appear to be a second disc. Um, just right here is the manual, which I don't want to show you for copyright reasons. Um, this is the, the game itself. But this right here is, as far as I'm concerned, a collector's edition. And the reason why is because of the extra features that are included with it, um, which is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I don't believe that in this country they released uh, any other version. I heard 
Um, yeah, they're pretty much putting that on the back of everything. So, I really, really do like it. Okay, I do want to say, though, this is a very thin manual. Um, I don't like that. If you're going to include a manual, don't include thin ones. Include, like, really in-depth ones. Can I... Now I can show you some of the information, probably. Mm. As long as I don't show you guys any images, it should be okay. That, uh... There do appear to be, like, uh... It, it, they're, they're okay. They're short, so they're short and to the point. The manual is short and to the point. It's not exactly what I would consider to be a um, a manual for a collector's edition manual, because obviously it's it's pretty short and to the point. This is the manual that you would pretty much consider in a a normal game. But that having been said, the content on this disc alone and all the special features and everything else makes this disc, as far as I'm concerned, a required purchase. Um, that is based upon the content that's included with it, particularly, um, like I said, these games are considered to be two of the best games on the PlayStation 2. Um, they have increased the graphical fidelity on them tremendously with uh, higher resolution textures and stuff like that, as well as uh, cut down on some of the muddled blurs and stuff like that. They increased the draw distance, which wasn't very good for some of, the, for some of this. But for the most part, it's the five documentaries that were included. And the fact that this game retails at $40. For $40, two games that are pretty much considered to be solid, solid PlayStation 2 games um, that probably alone on the PlayStation 2 fetch a much higher price unopened for collectors. Get this. Um, you'll have trophies, all that good stuff. This is a great deal. Um, so... If I had, a, if I could, if I did, like I said, I do consider this collector's edition. If I could, it's a required. Um, there are two great games. I got to demo it on the PlayStation 2 a while ago. It, it gets my steal of approval. So check this out. This is Maniac with GameAccess.net. Over and out.